Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And uh, here we are the day after the fall uh, equinox. And uh, this morning and all morning long there's been a very turbulent energy everywhere that I went. Uh, and little storms of turbulence clearing, you know. This morning I woke up. And the room was full of ghosts and astral figures, the first time in a year or two. And they were all like in a state of commotion and emotion and uh, desiring things that they, they didn't have. They were like unhappy, unsatisfied, and uh, unable to find happiness. And I first tried going around the whole house with my Zildjian um, finger symbols, um, uh, making that sound that purifies and clears the air. But it didn't help that much. So then, uh, I, because my own energy field was responding to all that, I was unsure whether I should go on, this, on the hike with the group today, but I thought, well, I'll try it. I can always back out later. And we had not gotten that far when I fell flat on the ground on the on a um, pretty much even road. It was, you know, and I, I sk sk skinned my knee in several places and I got all dusty and my camcorder got all dusty, so I stopped. And I went to a very quiet valley place that I know about that's free from the newosphere of this big city of Los Angeles. I sat there for a while and while I was resting there, I took a brief nap. And during that time, those ghosts and shades and all those astral forms somehow cleared, that energy cleared amongst them. And when I got up, refreshed, I started back up the hill. And um, there I ran into a, a lady about my age, and she had an amazing story to tell about her own hike in this same place today. She said she was walking along, and all of a sudden a great wind enveloped her, a great whirlwind or dust devil. And and then, first it, 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 it circled round her, and then it went on up a hill. I imagine a hill like that one. And, and stopped in the middle of that hill. And as it did, a raven came down, swooping down almost to the, to the top of her head, and, and then passed on by. She thought it was practically going to touch her. And then she, and then she wondered, and she continued on her way. And um, then she saw a tarantula wasp, a very fearsome, large, giant, purple-winged moth that has a very painful, I mean, uh, tarantula wasp, has a very painful sting, she says, and it, it uh, stings tarantulas, you know, which are pretty big. So she was a little frightened by that, seeing the tarantula wasp, which hovered around her. So those are all portents of things clearing, I feel. Um, I asked her what she thought about it, and she said she really believes in the grace of God. Which is interesting, because I believe in the grace of God, too. And I believe if we have a portent, it's because of something that God is doing in our life to let us know, to give us a heads up. For instance, when I fell down today, maybe that meant I should go on no farther. And that it was a mistake to go that far, perhaps. And that I needed to nurture myself and, and, and like my mother, when I, when I used to hurt my knee a million times when I was a child, she used to kiss it and then put a Band-Aid on it. So there was that. And then, as far as she is concerned, maybe she had that energy of clearing of negative um, energy in her own aura from someone else and fears and like that. So this is a time of great things coming up in our energy fields, maybe from past lifetimes, maybe from this lifetime, and clearing through. So going back to last night, because the things today are very interesting portents, uh, I'm going back to last night on the astral realm and what was going on then, and I think that might provide a clue. There were energy threads coming up to do with uh, feeling the threat of death uh, all around the neighborhood. People feeling like that or feeling like they should threaten other people with death. 
there was someone on the on the internet who said that he was like an assassin guy and those things come up when people themselves fear uh, fear for their lives you know it's like a threat energy that a person puts out because they're um, feeling not safe and so there was this feeling of, of, of not, lack of safety and I think that as the night went on um, as, through everyone's dream time uh, that may have affected everyone with a kind of an anxious sort of emotional energy and emotional field and that's why my bedroom was full of astral forms and unhappy shades as they say this morning and that's probably what accounts for these omens that happened today omens I think of um, change that's the whirlwind of uh, wanting comfort that's me falling down because when I was a little child there were my mother had lots of demands on her attention from my siblings and falling down and getting a skinned knee which I did regularly was one of the few things that got me some attention and some sympathy and some some loving uh, uh, first aid <laughs> so falling down is a way of of finally feeling uh, sympathy for the inner child and allowing it a chance to to feel comfort and then the other things the raven swooping down ravens are like natural um, wisdom uh, just the, the the force of nature, intelligent force of nature coming down indicates the gift of wisdom coming in and the tarantula um, wasp to me indicates uh, the, the feeling of danger being near again, the feeling of lack of safety. So these are turbulent moments in the history of humankind right now and the clearing proceeds apace. I've been sitting here actually for quite some time now under the shade of, is it a valley, a coastal live oak or a valley? Yeah, coastal live oak. And um, just watching the wind blow here in the mountains and feeling really somewhat just a little bit disconsolate, just a little bit out of sorts about all that's been going on since last night. And I was just sitting on the ground, actually, on the leaves and on the dirt here in the mountains, under this tree in the shade, grounding. And then I thought, what do we do? You know, today is the day after the fall equinox. It's the beginning of the slow lessening of the light until winter solstice when the light becomes begins to be renewed again. And this time of year I always feel, well, a little like something has been lost, you know. Like the waning, the great waning is about to just ever so slowly begin. So I thought, here I am, right beside this tree. It's a little one. It's, it's coming along though. It's very strong. It's going to be very tall and strong. It's going to be an incredible protector of all kinds of wildlife and all kinds of little plants underneath and on its boughs. One day it's going to be a great patriarch of these mountains. Yeah, it's well on its way. So I thought, why not just, while I'm sitting here on the ground, I'll just touch this tree trunk and I'll see what's what, right? Nice tree. And as I felt the sap moving in the tree and I felt the ground beneath me, then I began to feel that everything's all right. There's nothing quite like a tree to, uh, to ground a person because, because as much of the tree is underground as is above ground or close. So this tree, this tree is talking to our Mother Earth every single day. And so what I find when I touch the tree is just the life of the tree, the joy of the tree to be 
to be living here on Earth, waving its branches and leaves in the sunlight and dipping its roots into the soil. It's kind of cool.